Hi everyone, thank you so much for joining me today. My name is Jennifer Martinez and I'm a guest reviewer for Wig Studio One. You can find me on my YouTube channel, it's just Jennifer Martinez, but thank you so much for coming over to the Wig Studio One YouTube channel today. I have a super exciting unboxing for you. I just got it in the mail today and I was so excited. I had to sit down and do this unboxing and initial review for you. So this is from Ellen Villa, just so you know. It's from the Modix Collection and this is Luna. We're gonna get into all the specs in just a few minutes, but thank you so much to Wig Studio One for sending me this wig in exchange for my honest review. All opinions are my own. If you haven't checked out Wig Studio One, the website, or their Facebook group, everything will be linked down below for you. Ladies um, and guys, some guys have the best advice on that Facebook group. So if you're a new wig wearer or not, and you just need some advice, or you wanna show a picture of a wig that you got from Wig Studio One, you can definitely um, put that up there. So um, it's a pretty big group. It's grown a lot since I first liked or became a member of the group almost two years ago and I have just loved it so definitely check that out it'll be linked below for like you. Like I said this is a review of the new Luna wig from Ellen Villa and this is part of their spring 2022 collection. I saw some pictures of it I think on Instagram and I thought I love the look of that wig. So I'm super excited that I get to review it for you today. Now, this color is called Chocolate Shaded and it's the color 83027-6. So let me just show you that. That's the card there. Definitely a different box than the other Ellen Villa wigs that I've gotten before, but this is a new collection. It's their Modix collection. So let's go ahead and take a look at the wig. Here we go. Okay, so this one is, comes to you inside out. Okay, so they always do that for a reason, to pre preserve the integrity of the style. You know, when you get a wig that's like this, don't think that it's been used or anything like that. Some wigs come um, just the way they should be. So, you know, like this and some come inside out. So just keep that in mind. Also, it is attached with a bobby pin back here, so it doesn't come off during shipping, but you just kind of pull it off. It has the hairnet on it. Let me put the box down. I've never had this color. We'll talk about the color in just a few minutes, but just look at this. And just the very first, touching it for the very first time, oh my gosh, it feels so soft. This is a heat-friendly wig, so you can style this wig if you want. Just remember, if you curl it, once you wash it, it's still gonna have that curl in it. Any way that you leave it and then wash it, it's gonna go back to the way it was right before you washed you it. See there, it does have that part, but there's actually not any type of monofilament part there. You do have the lace front, which looks really nice, and you also have a crown. So, you know, when you have that little swirl at the top of your head, that's what that is right there. This one does have an extended nape and Velcro adjusters, which are definitely my favorite. The ear tabs are the nice, soft ear tabs. Just a little bit of stretch there is some stretch in there. Luna is described as being a wavy style. I don't see a ton of wave. There's a little bit maybe of a flipper wave there at the very ends. So not a ton, but like I said, it is heat friendly so you can put in a wave if you want. The um, specifications does say that it's flattering to all face shapes. So that's a good thing. I'm looking down at my notes. I printed some stuff from the Wig Studio One website. So I would tell you the correct information. It's a petite to average cap size. It does weigh four ounces, but you know what? I'm not feeling that it's like super heavy at all. So it feels fairly light to me. Let's look at the measurements. The front we have six inches. So it looks like it has a maybe a little bit of a bang. We'll see more once I put it on. So a little bit of a bang there, six inches. The crown is 12 and a half. So 12 and a half back here from the crown, 12 and a half. The sides are nine inches. So they come down here 
to nine inches. Let me go ahead and take this off. This is Alexis by John Renault in the color 6F27. Really, really pretty. But I'm gonna take this off and put this on. Actually, before I go any further, I took my other hair off, but I think I'm gonna go ahead and get that zigzag part out of it. Brush through with a wide tooth comb there. Let me just say, just from looking at it there, it's a beautiful rooting, isn't it? That's really, really pretty. I love this color. I'll put here what the color description is, but like I said, it is 830.27.6, so a base of an eight, and then the rooting is six, and then it has 27 and 30, so 27 and 30, which are like in the red family, it has 27 and 30 like highlights in there. Very well blended though. You're not seeing any just stark, you know, contrast coloring. So definitely a gorgeous color. Let me show you the lace front on here. From what I can see, it looks really good. I'm just looking here in my camera and I don't have my glasses on. <laughs> but from what I can see, it does look really good. Now, like I said, it doesn't have any type of monofilament features except for that crown. So that's good um, if you look at it in the sense that you can part it wherever you want to part Many it. Many wigs come with a left side part. So whether you like the left side part or not, sometimes you're stuck with it. But if you don't like that, so right now I have it on the left side there. If you don't like that, with a wig like this, with these cap features, you can move it over. The easiest way that I found for myself to change a wig is to clip it, okay? Just clip it back and spray it. That really, really helps with keeping that, the uh, fibers over on the side where you want them to really be. really love the look of this. The overall look of this wig is really pretty. These bangs are gonna be too long for some people, probably me included. If I wear them as bangs, I will definitely trim them. But if you're one who doesn't mind that swoop there, and maybe you don't mind if it kind of falls in your eyes every now and then, this will be perfect because, I mean, look how pretty this is. It's just pretty. But if you don't want that, like I said a few minutes ago, you can just clip it and train it. And that lace front, will help with that because you can kind of manipulate those fibers there and you can keep it off your face. I really like how this is kind of coming in. It's not really face framing per se, but it's almost like neck framing. So if maybe if you are self-conscious about your neck, this might be a good one because it might kind of cover it up just a little bit, but it just frames your entire, you know, from head to decollete, and I think that's really pretty. Let me show you Luna from All Sides. As far as styling is concerned, the cut on here is really pretty. It has some just kind of gentle layers in there, you see that? But if you are one who likes to put, you know, at least clip a little bit of your hair back, you could do that too. And you could have just a little bit of the bang coming down there. This one would also be a great one for a low pony. And what I've noticed is that it doesn't have, I don't feel like it's super, super dense. I have so many wigs in my collection that are really dense. And when you put it up in a ponytail, it doesn't in a way look realistic, I guess. But this one really does. It feels realistic, you can see there. So I think that'd be great for a low pony. You're one who doesn't like bangs. I don't have a wig grip on, so it's gonna pull a little bit, but you can pull that up. I'm just gonna use that same clip. 
but you can pull that up in just an easy style. The ear tabs are fine. They don't come down super low, so it matches my hair pretty well, but there is the ear tab right there. That's the bottom of it. And all of this right here, all of this is my hair. Now in just a few minutes that I've played with this wig, I think it's really pretty. I mean, look at this, these layers here and that color, oh my gosh, just so pretty. It does come in 10 colors, by the way. In fact, I think I'm gonna take you outside and show you this color in sunlight. While I've got my glasses on, perfect. Fits perfect. There's the ear tab there, just kind of goes underneath. And a great one for glasses on the head. That's all I have for you today. Thank you so much for watching. Like I said, all of the links will be listed down below for you. Thank you for watching. Have a great day, and I will talk to you soon. Bye.